so over to here. Now here we want the white, I've already put the white in, and I've already finished that, well I haven't finished that, but I've, I wanted to make it a little darker on the top so we had a contrast with the sky. This end want just a touch of white because we're going to have the red going right up almost close to it, but we do want a separation between these two areas. And I think what I'll do here is I'll use the grey, the light grey as opposed to white, and we'll do the window frames. Like that. And just a little bit of light on this edge because we want, again, we want this to be lighter than the roof. Well, that's the same colour. And generally now, this can go everywhere. We're going to be putting red and other tones into here. Um, I'll finish that off in a moment or two, but I wanted to, just, to take you up here. Well, let's just do that bit so we can butt up to that. Um, now, on top of the white, then we need to put some ivory. Now, what idea? This is a, a rustic old roof, so we, we don't want it to look too pristine. Uh, a little bit of ochre, a little bit of maybe yellow ochre in there would be nice. Before we finally put in, I would use one eight, a 283 for this. That's 283, I can find it. Uh, oh, there we are. Now the only thing is that needs to be sharpened. This is 283, but it needs to have a sharp one. So I'll go away and sharpen it, and then we'll complete this area. Uh, here's a lovely sharp 283. Start by Again, don't ever draw a line when you're doing something like this. It's better to do it in little bits and pieces. The reason for that, it doesn't look quite so contrived, because you wouldn't find a line like that, especially somewhere like this in real life. Now, I've got a, a mark there, but I think I'm going to have it actually slightly differently there. And we can make, make that look as though it's an imperfection in the bridge tile. And along this edge now, that's not going to show up because of the dark here, so we have to leave it light. And um, let's just put a few more. That's all right, good. Now having done that, you can then go back over and distress it a bit. Make it look a little more. In fact, you could add another colour onto that. And just add a little bit of red. You can add any colours you want. On a picture like this, which is very impressionistic, you can put almost anything in and get away with it. A little bit of green would be nice too up there. Just a touch. That looks good. Let's put a little bit of yellow ochre. I did put some in, but I think we'll have a little more. Uh, that's great. Okay, so that's the bridge style finish. Now, what about the roof? Well, the roof, uh, we're going to use 190 again. Uh, let's just start off by using the pencil to kind of scumble it in. Don't you, At the moment, I'm not necessarily worried about putting in tiles. I'm going to make them a little later on but what I want to do now I can't go any further because I haven't put the base color under here why is it important to have a base color well it stops this from being too harsh now this is the idea of that light you see I put that white on that end we have the contrast and nice contrast between them. and there's nothing wrong with going along the tiles imagining that you're seeing tiles there now, if I do a few more, you'll get a really good idea of how that actually is working. We're going to put some more colour on here as well. This is this is really another base colour, ready for the reds we're going to use. Now, here, you see, this is where we would have a little problem. So, just do same as I did there, put a little bit of white, put a little bit of white on this edge. 
and, and on top of the grey, which we've already got it there, like that. And then you can you can butt up to that with your red. Now I'm going to do that all of this now. Okay, there's no, there's no need to watch me do any more. I think you got the idea of that. But already, look at that. Now, doesn't that already look like tiles to you? Well, it will do when I finish. Now, this is another area where you've got to come up into the tree. Don't worry about the transition. That will all be sorted. It doesn't look bad like that, but we'll make it look a lot better than that time we finish. Okay, now, I so said, I'd better leave you now and get on and finish all of this. Which, remember, it's the grey first. Into the roof, that's the same colour as that. Uh, it will be, as long as we have the white on the edge and retain that, we'll have the separation and we can work on that later. It's that first and then the red. Now, the next application is using the ivory. You could use the gray. Ivory would be better. Now what I'm doing is tapping. Forget that for the moment. I'll come back to that. That's the next process. Now you can see as I'm going through this, it's not making a colossal difference with it. It's just pushing the color into the paper, losing the sort of rough edges, if you like. And it goes all the way down there. It just gives a next color a chance. Now, when you get to there, um, do the same thing. I've put that on to remind me of what I'm going to be doing when I get there. But just push down nearly there. You might not think, looking at that, it makes a lot of difference, but it does. Okay. Now the next color is the red. This is 118. And this game needs to go over. And again, you could do exactly the same idea again. But here you can put a bit more pressure on. Red ordinarily doesn't like any colours underneath it. But we're not using this as a, a bright red. It's meant to have be subdued slightly. And we've got a couple more colours going on as well. Exactly the same idea around that window or the dormer. Now the colours underneath are making quite a difference to this. If I hadn't had the colours this would be rich red but miles too strong for a picture of this kind. It needs to be subdued. Every now and again you can just add a little bit of extra. It just makes it more varied and more interesting like that. Now this is where we're getting to the area here. Now what I think is nice if you can put a little bit of green on. Green will go over the top of that but really it's a good idea. I'm using 168. It's a good idea to put it on at this stage when it's got a better chance of registering. I'm going to creep it around that window just a little bit as well. I don't want too much, I think probably that's probably enough. And then you put the red and butt the red up to it. Now I've also used ochre there, a little bit of ochre. And I'm not worried about any dark green at the moment. I'm going to put that on, but that can come later. What I wanted to do is establish the green before we put the red on. It would be more difficult to put the green on top of this red. It wouldn't register quite so much. Again, makes some areas just a little bit darker. It's already looking interesting, but it's going to get better. Okay, done. Now, just a little bit. Don't be too mad in here. I think we can probably be a little lighter in here without being still putting the red in but not making it quite so strong. Lovely. Okay, now the next color I'm going to use is 
192. Now 192, to start with, we want to go across. So what we're doing is, is kind of indicating the tile. Dot, dot, dash along. Don't make a line again. And this won't look anything until we finish it. When I finish, it will look a bit special. Now, I don't need to see me do all of that again because once again it's boring. All I would say in here is just be perhaps a little bit more precise. In other words, you can put... Ooh, that's the problem of pressing hard. Put a little bit more suggestion of tiles in there. Or roof tiles, yeah. See that? That's not bad. But play with it a little bit. And just under there. Yeah, quite like that. Good. Okay, so anyway, I will carry on with that and finish that off. And then we'll move on to the next process. Right, I've finished all that. And you see, notice that. I'll show you how I did it. Fill a few more of these in now. Now you've got the dark colour. It's giving you a bit of separation. You can come in and don't fill everyone up. Leave a few lighter ones. I'm going to add a few more in, as you see up here. You can play with it a bit. Make it the area so it doesn't look too modern and it looks as though a few tiles on the way out. Uh, another thing you can do is to, every now and again, not everywhere, don't go everywhere with this as I did with that, you just here and there, you can put in a few separations. Probably put less than you want for the moment because you can always add them later on. Having done that, we can then use colours, like I've used a little bit of ochre in here, rather than using all red. And I've also used yellow ochre too. There's a lot of colour you can add to these things. Yeah, it looks rather, rather swish. And a couple of white ones. They don't have to make this too strong, just I've done a few in there, look, they look good. A couple in there. And probably I'll leave it at that. A little bit of red too. This looks a bit foreign at the moment, so you need to put a red, a few red tiles in here. That, a little bit of ochre. Now the other colour we can use is, oh, what, not that one, one, yeah, not that one. They all look the same to me under these lights. 181 is the one I'm looking for. Now here you just put, every now and again, put just a little bit of extra weight in it. And again, a couple of down. But don't go everywhere. Pick your spots. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? I'm going to add a few down here. Once again, you see, you can add more later. You don't have to. You can even come back on it once you've finished off and think, mm, I think I can add a, just a little bit more detail. Great thing about the pastel pencil. Okay, now I think that looks pretty good. I don't think I want to put any more in. You can, not with that though. <coughs> Excuse me, if you've got one of these, it might be best to clean that off. Or, or better than that actually, would be one of these. Can use the ivory one, but this is a little stronger. And you can just go in and just every now and again, again, not every one, smooth the odd one or two down like that 
again taking the edges off I don't want to do any more the risk of this spoiling us now is white high I think we've just put a little bit of dark under there and then call it a day